chosen ones listen up when you are chosen your life is not going to make any sense because you are a spirit being having a natural experience you're not meant to be like everyone else you're meant to stand out so the things that you experience in life is going to be different than everybody else and yes it doesn't make any sense yes there's some things that seem so unexplainable it seems so strange and maybe other people may not understand who you are maybe people that you talk to it seems like you're speaking another language or they don't they don't understand the path that you're on and the path that God is taking you in that's all a part of God's plan think about Job in the Bible when God was testing Job he was going through so much that even his friends was not understanding and they're saying maybe you've done something wrong so not all the time is not about what you've done wrong because a lot of us chosen ones we sometimes ask ourselves did I do something wrong what what did I do to deserve this these are the questions that we may ask because it's so unusual the things that we may experience but just know that it's all a part of God's plan even the things that don't make sense one day I told God, I said, this doesn't make any sense, God, the things that I was experiencing. And God broke it down to me. What are senses? Senses are something that's logical. Senses that senses are natural. God is not logical. God is beyond logic. He defies logic. He's supernatural. So everything about being in God is going to be abnormal it's not going to be normal to what's natural to our nature or natural to the things of this world because we are spiritual beings and it's what part of you are you feeding are you feeding your spirit man or are you feeding your flesh man when you are chosen you don't have a choice it's you're chosen but you don't have a choice because God has chosen you whether you like it or not you have to come to a agreement with God where you are in alignment and submitting to his will for your life because the more you fight against it the more you delay the process of promise the more you delay the process of purpose because here's the thing the reason why he tests and try us is not for us I mean it's not for him it is not for him it's for us so that we know and so that we walk in divine purpose, in, in divine alignment to his divine will for our life. Because you can go on the path of his submissive will or you can go on the path of his divine will. And submissive will, his sub submissive will is what he's allowing based off of the decisions and choices that we've made rather than us just walking in his divine will for our lives but it all works together to the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So even if you go off track, you go out of alignment, he brings you back and he chastens, he chased after those who he love. And when you are chosen, it's, we, we don't have a choice. <laughs> it's like you're fighting against something that you, a battle you, you're never going to win. It's all good though is still good so it's it's just a decision you have to make because that war that you're experiencing the warfare a lot of times it's us fighting against what god is trying to do because we feel like it don't make any sense it's like this doesn't make any sense why is my life not like so and so or this person or that person because it's not supposed to because when you are chosen you're set apart and you are on another level than everybody around you you have the world and then you have those people that God has put in a world for such a time as this that are marked by God that is called to be the light of this world, the salt of this world. That means we are salt and light and we're not supposed to blend in. We're, we're supposed to stand out. We're supposed to be leaders like an eagle and fly. And, and when we feel like God, this doesn't make any sense. He wants us to understand that it's not supposed to. And what are senses? Senses are your sight, your smell, your touch, your taste, and your hearing. 
and you have your senses in the natural and then you have your spiritual senses that you can hear in the spirit you can see in the spirit you can taste in the spirit you you have these spiritual senses and you have these natural senses and when you feel like it doesn't make any sense why i'm going through these things you got to understand that it, it's not supposed to because we're dealing with a supernatural god a lot of times people try to practicalize god and put god in a box the more knowledge we get about doctrine and, and religion we start to lose sight of the supernatural part of who god is and try to rationalize and reason and try to to sum god up in a box when God can't be boxed in because it doesn't matter how many times you read the Bible. It doesn't matter how much knowledge that you attain. You still have to walk in the spirit. And that can't be explained all the time. And that's without reason a lot of times. And you just got to submit to what God is doing. So trust God. Trust the process. Know that you're chosen and it's not supposed to make sense. But in the end... He will make it all come together for your good and for his glory, 